Hello you gorgeous people of the interwebs. I hope you're having a fan dabby dozy day today. Today I am telling you a little story about why I genuinely believed that this unboxing was not going to happen and why I thought that this package from Louis Vuitton had been intercepted and um, was never intended to make its way to me. It had been stolen. I'm not gonna lie, I genuinely thought that this unboxing wasn't gonna happen. I genuinely thought that this package addressed to me from Louis Vuitton had been intercepted and stolen. Yes, that's right, I ordered something from Louis Vuitton. I haven't been in love with Louis Vuitton for quite some time, but there was a thing that I saw that was on my birthday Christmas wish list, and then it went out of stock, and you know what Louis's like, you know, you phone up and you say, is it coming back into stock, and they say, we literally don't know, but it looks like it should do. It's one of those things, it should come back into stock, but, meh, you know, meh. It came back into stock, <laughs> on there looking for something else something entirely unrelated but it was on my wish list and as I went through I thought oh, I'll check my wish list and it was in stock so I was like quick order it order it I ordered it it comes from France so it took a few days for it to come through and let me tell you what happened well I work from home the line works from home we both work from home so we are here I receive a notification on Thursday at 11.53 to say your UPS delivery has been delivered and it's been uh, received by the resident. I was like, hmm? So I ran downstairs, I asked the lion, did you hear the doorbell go? Anything like that? A knock on the door? Anything? Because his office is downstairs, mine is upstairs. He said, no, nothing at all. I unlocked the front door and I went looking around our driveway, I went looking into the bins, just in case, you know, they chucked it on a bin or something, safe place, that kind of thing. And there was nothing to be seen. I went into the back garden to see if it had been thrown over the fence or something like that. None of these things are things that you would expect from a delivery service like UPS and on behalf of one of the, arguably, the biggest luxury houses that has ever existed. I looked up the proof of delivery is uh, what they had it down as and it just said handed to Gwen. No it wasn't. It wasn't. That was at 11.53. We were about to go on lunch um, so I phoned, I, I, I checked up on UPS and I did their um, full chat thing and I said, look, it's it's not arrived. It says it's been delivered, but it's not been here. I checked things like our doorbell. It's a video doorbell and it doesn't just go off when someone rings the doorbell. It goes off when someone approaches and no one had approached our house. The only entry for that day so far had been me leaving the house to go round the front of the house, to go round by the garage, along the driveway, check the bins and everything to make sure that the package hadn't just been left on the doorstep. You're telling me it's delivered, it's not being delivered. Checked up on UPS, did a live chat with them, it's not being delivered. They said, if you are the recipient, then you have to bring it up with the sender and the sender is the one that has to raise the case. So I called Louis Vuitton Customer Services and I spoke to a lovely lady called Rebecca. She was fabulous. She was really, really wonderful. I gave her the sequence of events. I gave her um, everything. You know, she ran through the checklist of, were you at home when the package was uh, said to have been delivered? Yes, we were. And I can prove that no one's approached the house and I can prove this, that and the other. Now, we have all heard horror stories. Even Sophie Shohet had a horror story about a luxury item being sent to her but her not receiving it whether the box has been tampered with it never arrived all of those things and you know it is such a pain to try and get that kind of thing resolved and actually it makes me feel you know thinking about it now I'm getting another little rush of adrenaline this was a couple of days ago that I needed a moment I needed a moment before filming this and it just made me feel like really just all over icky like has someone stolen this if you are new to my channel then hi i am gwenny and i love luxury in all of its glorious forms and if you love luxury in all of its glorious forms get down there hit subscribe and ring my bell so you don't miss out on any of my luxury based shenanigans I try and avoid the drama 
but sometimes it just happens and I, I've got to go with it. Show the videos you enjoy the thumbs up love and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. So I was speaking to Rebecca, went through it all, she said right okay what I'll do is I'll raise it with our team that deals with UPS and what have you. They have very, very high standards. They've got a very strict contract. They have all sorts of safeguards in place to make sure packages don't go missing and that they're delivered and there's adequate proof that they've been delivered. She was brilliant. And she said, I will keep you updated at all times. She did email me, which I picked up a couple of hours later, um, to say that because the thing that I had ordered was limited edition, um, and they didn't know if they would be getting any more in stock she'd put another one aside for me just in case. Louis Vuitton customer services were absolutely fantastic in this regard. I'm having lunch with a lion it is about half an hour later I see a van pull up just a plain white van not a UPS branded van and someone came running to the door and I opened it and they went Ugh is your package. The delivery driver wasn't a UPS branded delivery driver. He was wearing a, not a local, but a, maybe a relatively local football polo shirt, branded one. Um, and he had some sort of machine, you know, the ones where they ask you to sign and stuff like that. But at no point did he offer it to me. And I asked him if he needed any ID or if he needed to take any um, photos of the package being delivered as proof of delivery he said no no no, no I don't need, don't need any of that don't need any of that it's just ego ego and he ran off a couple of interesting things I noticed on the package and I'm going to try and hide some of my personal details but there is bits scribbled on the package here and the label had been removed and also at the top here and it went across the little pull tab and yes I have opened it this isn't a true unboxing I've opened it because I wanted to make sure my damn thing was inside and um, this had phone mats on it who's Matt and why does he need to know about my package it um, all struck me as very much this wasn't intended to get to me it had been intercepted I'm guessing someone on the inside because uh, who else? Maybe hoping on the off chance that the address it was being delivered to might be empty or something like that and it would take a few hours for any complaint to be raised or, or whatever. As it was, I got onto Louis Vuitton customer services immediately, they got onto UPS immediately and somehow, some, somewhere down the chain, it came to me. Now, when I asked him if he needed any ID or needed to take a photo, of this being delivered and he said no I don't need that that is plainly untrue Louis Vuitton has its drivers its delivery drivers take ID in the form of for example the last four digits of your driving license so they can cross-reference that back to you if need be so the fact that he didn't want to take any ID is another indicator to me that you know they basically had to deliver this even though they were not intending to deliver this. I did tell Rebecca that this had eventually been delivered. Um, I emailed her and gave her the description. I gave her a screenshot from our doorbell um, to show the delivery driver. I said, you know, I've got the footage of me asking him if he needs ID and him saying, no, he doesn't need ID. Um, if any of that was to be helpful, I could get that um, video footage to her. But otherwise, I sent her a picture of the front of the package with the bit missing on the label and the phone mat scribbled on there and a screenshot of the delivery driver. I had already looked at this to make sure that, that my item was in here and that it was safe and all of that stuff before I got back in contact with them because obviously they'd held another piece aside for me just in case. So the next day I received a phone call. This is Matt from UPS. Oh, hi Matt. Yeah, I understand there was a problem with your delivery yesterday. Uh, yes. Uh, he's uh, a bit confused. He was a bit confused, that driver. Yeah, he's a new driver, a bit confused. I was like, okay. Uh, can I can I take uh, can I take some ID from you just to I uh, can retrospectively add it to the delivery notes? Okay. What do you need? Can I can I have the last three digits of your driving license number? You want three digits? Yeah, yeah, three digits. That'll be fine. Yeah. So I gave him my three digits. 
I don't know if he got that wrong or he, he was guessing or whatever. It just smelt fishier and fishier and fishier as it all went on. You know when you go into like a flat spin of panic? Oh, it's been stolen, it's been stolen, oh, it's been stolen. Anyway, phew, we can do the unboxing now, kids. So sorry. <laughs> so we've got this, I don't know how new it is, but I've certainly seen it on uh, my YouTube buddies, um, unboxings that Louis Vuitton are doing this sort of coating on the inside of their boxes, their delivery boxes now. I have got a little shopping bag, delivery notes and everything in there. And I've got my package in here. Now, this was really rattling around in here. They've got this new... Oh, it's not great. <laughs> it's not great. So anyway, after all of that, what did I order? It is in this small box, so it is a small piece. And I don't remember if any of you watched my birthday Christmas wish list thing, and I don't know if I did that as a separate video or even part of Vlogmas now, it's all a bit of a blur. But here it is, a little slidey drawer, and for once, it's a good slidey drawer. Tiny little dust bag, and which way round are we? We are this way around, so... Just gotta get it right, just gotta get it right, because I want it to be, I want it to be right. I bought the... Oh, it's so cute! It is the, um, oh, the, the fluffy tail looks a little bit um, unfluffed, but it, it is, this is the Lunar New Year bunny, and he is very, very cute. He has got a little essential V for his schnoz. He's got pink um, Louis Vuitton uh, monogram print on him there, and he's got little fleur-de-lis on his cheeks. It's got gold hardware and on the back is this micro monogram. It is so cute, so adorable. I was very annoyed with myself for not buying this when I first saw it and saw it was available. And this little fluffy tail here, I believe this is mink. This little pink mink fluffy tail. He's absolutely gorgeous. And while I'm not hugely into bag charms, him and my precious tiger for last year's Lunar New Year are absolute um there were absolute must-haves for me he is adorable he has got a little splash of pink hence all of the pink on me today i mean not that i need an excuse to wear pink i've got to work out what i'm going to put him on because i don't have any monogram bags anymore other than my neverfull and i don't use it and i want to be able to use him bag on repeat i have got my precious tiger on my Lueve mini puzzle bag, which I am still still in, I'm still using. So maybe you could go on there. How does that look? Does that look cute together? Tonal with the kind of he's a he's a kind of sort of soft caramel colour, caramelly beige colour. Could he go on Miss Gracie? Possibly could, possibly could. This would be a nice, nice little combination, wouldn't it? Although, where, where to clip him with Miss Angles open? Yeah, but the Sangles interfere with the Dangles. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm actually going to put this little cutie on, but I am utterly delighted that I have it. I'm utterly delighted that the delivery finally came through whether or not it was intended to actually reach me. I am convinced, even now, a couple of days on, I am convinced that this little cutie was not intended to reach me. Um, a big shout out to Louis Vuitton Client Services. Um, they thought the whole thing was a little bit suspicious as well. Let me know what you think. Do you think I'm just being a bit paranoid? Or do you think, legit Gwenny, that was uh, that was stolen. And it was only the fact that we got onto it so quickly that they realised they couldn't get away with it and had to come and deliver this little cutie to me. What should we call him? What should we call him? Anyway, I realised I prattled on a lot about 
the actual delivery process and the panic and all of that kind of stuff at the beginning of this video so I um, realise it's, it's longer than perhaps you would have wanted to watch. Um, apologies for that. But if you are here, stick a bunny. Stick a bunny in the comments section down below so I know you've made it as far as the unboxing and you got to see the cute little guy. And uh, hopefully next time it'll be um, a slightly less adrenaline fueled video. And until I see you then, next time, yes you, boop, for the next video. Please stay safe, be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, watch out for your packages, stay fan dabby dozy and the bye!